the assembly? <laughs> Funny opening. Oh, thank you, sir. It's important that the kids know that you have a sense of humor. I agree. Uh, how does the rest of my day look? Well, you have a third period powwow with the science department, a fourth period meet and greet with the junior janitor's club, and a fifth period award ceremony with the seventh grade spelling bee champ. The winning word, mnemonic. Read it. Oh. M-N-E-N-O-N-I-C. Tricky. I gotta think of a way to remember that. Uh, right, sir. Now, I changed Wednesday's lunch menu from pizza sticks to nutritious fish cups. But I love pizza sticks. I know, and that's why I put a box of them in the trunk of your car. Rin, you are by far the best student administrative assistant I've ever had. Well, I'm the only one you've ever had, sir. I created the job. Hey, Mr. W, what do you know? What do you say? Morning, Shorty. So who do you like in the fifth? Fifth what? Sir Twitty, what is the most annoying part of your day? Uh, pretending to shower after gym class? Yes, yes. No, no, that's one. See, what I think it is, is the countless minutes we spend each and every day between classes opening up our lockers. You know, you gotta turn it right, you gotta turn it left, you gotta turn it right again. Yeah, 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 and then, and then you know you got all those stupid numbers that you exactly. remember. That's what I'm talking about. That's why I have invented the remote control locker opener. Check that out. Sweet. So what are we gonna do with all this extra time? Well, you could... Uh... You know what? You know what? I'm gonna learn Italian. <laughs> Right, you could learn um, Italian. L allow me to demonstrate. Watch this. What in tarnation? Ciao, Luigi. Stevens. I tell you, I am at my wit's end with that boy. I mean, I've tried morning detention. I've tried afternoon detention. How about weekends, holidays? Hi, Mom oh. and Dad. Hi, Eddie. I'm sorry to interrupt, but it's time to change the ointment on that bandage. Oh, oh, and by the way, I put a revised schedule in your box, okay? Owie. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. And just so you know, I changed the fire alarm from fourth period to fifth period because I have an important yearbook meeting. I hope that's okay, though. Oh, of course. Okay, good, good, good. Oh, and don't forget the pizza sticks. They are in the trunk of your car, and it's parked in the sun. Oh, there we go. Oh, go ahead, sorry. Um, Mr. Wexler, I, I, I hope you, you know that Lewis is really a good-hearted person and he would never hurt anyone, intentionally. And by the way, if you do need a new nose, we'll pay for it. How's it look? Not so good. It gets pretty itchy underneath that nose cast. No, 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 not Wexler, me, Ren. What's up with my punishment? That's pretty serious. I'd expect the worst, Lewis. What? I... I don't understand. What do people want from me, you know? I'm just trying to get by in this world. Louis, as your sister, as a concerned citizen, and as a fellow human being, I think you should listen to me. You bring on all your problems yourself, so for once, will you just try following the rules? Mr. Wexler, I just had the craziest idea. If it's about putting Louis in a giant metal birdcage, forget it. The school board turned me down. <laughs> Uh, no. Instead of always punishing him, how about giving him some responsibility? You know, Ren is doing very nicely with that. Ren didn't get where she is today by destroying people's good looks. Look, I know my boy. He'll rise to the occasion if he feels you have faith in him. Hmm, I know what you're thinking. It's just crazy enough to work. No, I was thinking about how long those pizza sticks might last in my trunk. Mr. Wexler, what about our son? Oh, right. Well, uh, uh, well, we'll try that responsibility thingy. Uh, Miss Johnson, could you move my car to the shade? <clears throat> You're gonna be a homeowner. Dude, believe me, I'm as shocked as you are. It's the old give responsibility so they'll change their ways approach. That never works. Shh, come on, dude, you don't want them to hear us. Okay, so when you're on Hall Patrol, all those stupid rules... Oh, they're gone. Hall passes? No, not on my watch. Sorry, slips. Dude, let's just say school starts when we get there. Bro, with you as the law, life will be, dare I say it. <laughs> Sweet. Yes, sir. Loitering? Don't mind if I do, Tom. Hmm. Very witty indeed. Now clear out! Move, move! There is nothing to see here, people! Sorry, right, Tom. Where do you think you're going, mister? Uh, with them? Not today. According to my official orders, it is time for you to join one of the few. The proud. The Hall Patrol. Hey, you! Malinger! Get to... <clears throat> Sorry. My bad. It's okay, Tom. <clears throat> Let's get you spruced up for the initiation ceremony. You know what, Tom? Today's not really a good time. Move! Yes, move! Yes! Move! No, I'm, I'm moving! Here, I'm moving! I'm moving! Some of your reports on ground-dwelling animals were less than satisfactory, people. Where is the passion for the crafty hedgehog, the proud albino mole? I'm sorry, Miss Lovelson. 
Take a seat, young lady. Okay. <clears throat> Don't worry about it. By the way, did you speak to Wexler about my parking spot? Oh, yeah, it's looking great. Huh, yes. Back to business, people. Hey, Tom, maybe uh, you were one of these guys that flip on a light or something, huh? It's kind of dark in here. You know, I'm not your interior decorator, right? But you may should put some flowers over here, feed something. Hey, guys. Protect the masses. Tom? Silence! Let the initiation into the Society of Hall Monitors begin! All is patrolless. All is passes. Protect us to masses. Initiation? I don't have to stick my hand in anything weird, huh, Tom? And now the official patrol gear. All is patrolless. All is passes. Protect us to masses. One Dutch whistle. Bow your head, please. One official hall monitor's handbook. And one pair of non-flammable pants. You know what, Tom? I'll wear my own pants. <laughs> Sit yourself. You know, uh, not to put a damper on the party here, uh, I like your sashes and stuff, um, but it seems like a lot of rigmarole just to check a guy's bathroom pass. <gasps> Lewis, is that all you think we do? George, the soapbox. Lewis? To you, this all may seem silly, but it's a jungle up there. I mean, there's no respect for the rules, the law, or common decency. We're the last line of defense. Now, it takes guts, it takes brains, and it takes heart. Do you have what it takes? Mm-hmm. Good. And I deem you worthy to wear the sash. Ah, oh, delicious. You know, school water is so refreshing when you're ditching. <laughs> <laughs> Twitty, I'm writing you up on a 2 one buddy. What's a 2 one one In civilian language, lips on the drinking fountain. Oh, okay, Robocop, you can stop kidding around. Okay, that's tough. There you go. What, what's a 714? Well, a 714 uh, would be defined as a uh, <clears throat> unauthorized uh, hope being in. You're making that up. No. Yes, yes I did. Okay, I don't know them all yet. It's a pretty big manual. But rules are rules. You guys can turn those into detention. Whoa, detention? Dude, come on, man. This is us. We're your friends. Twitty, I am the only line of defense between you and this jungle. What jungle? What jungle? Two hours ago we were laughing about this stuff. Well, we're not laughing now, are we? Look, Lou, listen. Okay, I can't go to detention today. Okay? But you know that maple smoke turkey jerky that you like so much? Yeah? Well, I got a special stash I'm saving just for you, Please bro. Please bribe. <laughs> are you trying to bribe me? You think I can be paid off? Huh? with a piece of a, a dried, salty, oh, so salty meat, huh? Uh, yeah. Well, I can't, Woody. And to prove that, you get picked up again. Another detention? Mm -hmm. That'll teach you respect to Sash. Oh, whoa, Twitty, come on. We've lost him. Oh, well, let's see. Gum, yo-yos, maple smoked turkey jerky. Hmm, looks like you guys had a busy week. You know, I don't know when these kids will get the message. If you bring unlawful materials to school, the Hall Patrol will find them and they will be confiscated. Nice work, Tom. Principal Wexler will dispose of these as usual. I live to serve and serve to live. There I was, my first day on the job, and they assigned me the South Hallway, the toughest beat in school. The place was filled with dirt balls and sleaze bags, mouth breathers and bottom feeders. I mean, you had to watch your back and every other part of your body. I mean, you, you could find anything you wanted here, especially trouble. 
Only a fool would take these cats on. I was just the man to... Wait a minute, what the heck am I talking to myself for? <sighs> I got a job to do. All right, Hawks! Party's over! What are you doing? What you doing, buddy? Huh? Why don't you erase that? That? Erase it. Feels good, doesn't it, Lefkowitz? Honest day's work? Yeah. Well. I have to tell you, Lewis, I am astounded. You have really risen to the occasion. Well, thank you, sir. You know, responsibility is my blood. I eat, sleep, and drink it. I even shower with it, sir. <laughs> beep, beep, beep. Just a second there, huh? All right, have a nice day, you. All right. Busting your two best friends, yeah. Ms. Dean and Mr. Twitty, that shows a lack of compassion that I find very promising. Thank you, sir. You know, rules are rules. It's this graffiti problem I'm worried about, sir. You know, kids here are malicious, you know, and what I want to do is install a few uh, surveillance cameras here and there. Of course, my treat. Oh, hey, Mr. W. Say, that kid Babe Ruth had a pretty good game yesterday. Yesterday? Show me these papers from 1932. Surveillance cameras are fine with me, Lewis. Far be it for me to stand in the way of the progress you've made. Yes, sir. Hey, Mr. Wexler. I'm sure he wouldn't mind if I uh, cut a ride to the second floor with you guys, would you? I'm sorry, Lewis. I know it's every student's dream to ride in the Wexler Vader, but it's strictly verboten for my private use only. That's like you said, rules are rules. Too please, Shorty. Go in up. Looks like we got us a straggler here, Tom. Huh, excellent. Only one. Ninety-two. Looks like Miss Tardy's doing some illegal chewing. Oh, kids. You know, when will they ever learn? Oh! She's trying to ride the Wexler Vader. Afternoon, Red. What can I do here, Bob? Holy handcuffs. Tom, come here. Come here, come here, come here. It's Red. Come here. Red. Look, look Red. Look. You see that? Free, please, Shorty. You got it, Dolphy. This rocks. There is nothing sweeter than busting a family member, Tom. Lewis, hmm. this is Ren Stevens here. I mean, we're way over our heads. No, Tom, settle down, all right? I don't care who she is. She broke the rules. Come on, dude. What happened to us against the jungle? Let's go get her. Huh? Let's go. I can't. I have to do sit-ups, work my abs, tummy. Yeah, fine. Fine, Tom. You go ahead and do that. I'll get her myself. So, what do you think of my, the principal is your pal column for the student newspaper? Oh, I loved it. I thought it was great. But I did have some corrections. For instance, right here, I thought... Please! Ah! Lewis, what is the meaning of this? Sir, someone you trust is misusing their power. What are you talking about? Sir, it stinks in here. And stinkage thy name is... Ren. Lewis, this is ridiculous. Oh, really, Ren? Is it ridiculous? Sir, she's tardy after the bell rings. She chews gum. She cuts class. And... And? She uses the wax levator. Now, Lewis, those are some pretty serious accusations. Yeah. Uh, this is ridiculous. I come in here day in and day out and break my back for the sake of the school, and he has the nerve to come in here and accuse me of... I can prove it. What do you mean you can prove it? Oh, yes, yeah, sir, I can prove it. See, I got it on tape, right? And if you don't do anything, sir, I'm going to show the whole school. Okay, uh, the two of you need to get to class. We'll deal with this at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. You know, a few days ago, I'd laugh this off. But no. This here goes beyond brother and sister. This is about good and evil, right and wrong. Enough already. Let's get this over with. All right. Brace yourselves. Tom, roll the tape. Tom, put the other tape in. Put the other tape in. Uh, this is the only one we have, and it's been in the deck all day. What? That's impossible. Tom, where is the other tape? Somebody must have switched it. Okay. I think we've had enough accusations for one day. Oh. I see what this is. You guys are all in on this together, huh? 
This is corrupt, and this is rotten to the core. Louis, your outrage is duly noted. Now, if you return to your post, what's the point of even wearing this sacred sash? I never said it was sacred. Listen, you can punish me and put me in detention, whatever. But if the rules don't apply to everyone, then I'm done being a hall monitor. I wonder what could happen to that tape. Hello? Lewis. Who's this? I know what happened to the tape. Yeah, well, too bad you don't have the guts to use your real voice. This is my real voice. Your phone is broken. Ren, my phone is not broken. It's very... Yeah, it is broken. <clears throat> well, I've been thinking about what you said about the rules applying to everyone, and you were right. What? I'm right? Is that what you just said? Ren, you've never said that to me. And I also think you should know that I was the one who switched the tape. Tom and Mr. Wexler had nothing to do with it. Ren, what happened to you? I don't know. I, it all started out innocently enough. A hall pass there, a permission slip here, and, and then it just got out of control. Before you knew it, I was writing the Wexler Vader, living above the law. Ren, I I don't know what to say, I'm speechless. Why couldn't you just follow the rules, Ren? You just sounded like me. Yeah. It's like the invasion of the body switchers. I gotta make things right. Ren, me too. You know Twitty and Tawny won't even talk to me? Maybe I can patch things up. That was so cool. That first drop was like the Matterhorn. Ren, can we please do that again? No. No, you guys. That was the last time for all of us. Thanks, Shorty. See ya. Thanks for the grand time. No problem, Miss Stevens. Don't pick any wooden nickels. No. You weren't. I don't believe it. How can you keep abusing your power in uh, such a... You didn't see anything, did you? Oh. See what? You're doing the right thing, Principal Wexler. No one in this school should have special privileges. I know, Rin, but I'm gonna miss having you as my assistant. No, I want to be a regular student, which means I have to get to class on time. <laughs> hey, Mr. W. Nice day, but don't rain. Hop in. Shorty, I think you're gonna make a great assistant. Where to? Second floor and step on. You've got it, Pete. Because this thing is... Ah!